Hello everyone, my name is Brendan Snyder. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another episode of Five Favorite Box Sets. So as part of my music collection, I have well over 11,000 CDs, but I also have over 200 box sets. And while I typically focus on the individual album, for this series here, we are going to focus on the box set. And for this particular one, we're gonna focus on album collection. So box sets that group together album releases from the bands. Thought we'd take a look at that today and uh, see what we can uh, dig up within that. But before we get started, if you are new to my channel and haven't already hit the subscribe button, please click the button. Also leave a comment, hit like, all those things help support my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, as an added bonus by subscribing, you'll be able to stay up to date on all that's going on in the world of music, just like this with five favorite box sets album collections edition. And so what makes a good box set, right? There is some criteria, criteria behind this. And for me, at least, it's a variety of material, having things like alternate takes, demos, B-sides, outtakes, live, also being comprehensive. So because we're talking about an album collections here, we're talking about something that's being comprehensive in what it is that it's trying to collect. And you know, something new for the hardcore fans. So that's where some of that variety of material I was just talking about would come in. And then certainly if it's got a book, memorabilia, that sort of stuff makes it all that much better. So we're gonna jump into this here. No particular order to it, just five of my favorite box sets. First one up, David Bowie, Who Can I Be Now, from 1974 to 1976, second in the series of box sets that he was doing, collecting his albums together. And so this one here is a 12 CD box set, featuring, of course, original albums from that time period, remixed albums, an unreleased album. It's also got a collection of non-album singles, which is pretty cool. So the albums that this one covers here, Diamond Dogs, 1974, David Live, which is the original mix from 1974, but it also has a 2005 mix of the album. Then we've got The Gouster, which is an unreleased album recorded between 74 and 75, making its debut as part of this box set here. Young Americans from 1975, then Station to Station, which we have the original mix from 1976 and also a 2010 mix of the album itself. Live at Nassau, Coliseum um, from 1976, which came out in 2017 as part of the Station to Station Deluxe Edition, which I didn't pick up at the time, so I'm glad to be getting it here as part of this box. And then Recall 2, which has a collection of non-album singles, single edits, B-sides, things like that. And there's also an amazing hardcover book as part of this. So this is kind of a cool one here. Uh, it's sort of a slipcase version of it where we've got this box that pulls out of the main box here. And then we've got all of the albums that are there. Here we got the book in this, but we've got all the other albums there. And so it just slides out like this and you can take out whichever album you want. And so I'm um, just gonna kind of thumb through it briefly. That's cool because they replicate the vinyl editions of these. So we do get gate folds and things like that. Uh, the discs themselves do come in sleeves like this. And um, the, if they have an insert of any kind, they come with it, but they've also got a sleeve like that. If you wanna transfer, you can do that. I've chosen not to. I just wanna keep everything nice. But you know, like you've got this version of David Live, and then you've got uh, a different version, the, the newer mix, the 2005. So they're individually, um, the albums, even the ones that have different mixes, are individually done with their own album artwork, which I really like. Here's that album, Gouster, that was an unreleased one. Then you've got uh, the other albums that are in here, the two versions of Station to Station. Uh, you've got Live at Nassau, Nassau Coliseum. I can't say that right, sorry. And then um, Recall 2. Plus you've got the really great hardcover book that's in here. And uh, this thing here, just look at the stuff that's in this, really cool uh, photos and things from that period and so forth. Uh, that just makes this uh, really interesting. Lots to read up on as well uh, from this book itself. So very cool box with a lot of great stuff uh, to uh, get into there. All right, next one up here, Def Leppard CD Collection Volume 2 from 2019. 
Uh, you can see all the stuff on the back side of it, kind of similar to the other one, except there's no box that goes over this one here. They just slide right out of the side. We'll get into that in just a second. It's a seven CD box set, and it covers four of their studio albums from the time period, Adrenalize 1992, Retroactive 1993, which is one of my favorites from them, Slang 1996, and Euphoria in 1999. What's great about this box set though is the three additional discs that it includes, which are just referred to as Rarities Volumes 2, 3, and 4. It's got demos, acoustic versions, live tracks, bonus tracks, B-sides, unreleased tracks, soundtrack recordings, and more on this thing. So they really jam-packed this full of unreleased or unavailable material that you can't get any other way now that they're grouping into this box here and it also includes an excellent in-depth hardcover book on this so as i mentioned the discs just slide right out of this thing and then you can pull these out this way so you know there we go we have adrenalized and so these are replica you know vinyl sleeves and it's got the jackets on it like that which is really cool and here we go with uh retroactive done as a gatefold style. Don't know if the original vinyl of this was done that way, but very cool nonetheless. And then we've got Slang and we've got Euphoria, which here is also done as a gatefold, very nicely done there. But as I mentioned, it's this, this disc or this package, I should say, because this is has the rarities volumes uh, two, three, and four all in here kind of weird the way they do it they start with two on the back side and then they mention three and four on the inside there and then it's got the individual discs and sleeves here like this with all of their track listing and everything on the back side so just tons and tons of stuff that this one has it does a really great job collecting all that together and then you've got this book in here as well and you know, it goes album by album, so you can see it starts there with Adrenalize, and it's got nice write-up on each one of these things, some great photos that aren't inside the original albums and so forth, and it just goes all the way through this thing covering some really great stuff on the band. So nice uh, bit of info along with all that unreleased material that makes this a lot of fun. All right, next one up, goes along with the shirt that I'm wearing here, The Police. Every move you make, the studio recordings from 2019. Nice uh, box that, a uh, lift top box, I should say. All the albums listed on the back. So this is the studio recordings, not covering any of the live material that they've done. A six CD box set that covers all five of their studio albums. So we got Outlandis Diamor from 1978, Regatta de Blanc from 1979, uh, Zenyatta Mandata from 1980, Ghost in the Machine, which is my favorite album. You can imagine why, um, from 1981 and Synchronicity from 1983. Now, the reason that this one here I like so much is because it does have one new studio disc included in it called Flexible Strategies. And it's got 12 songs that are not on the studio albums. They're all studio tracks. And it spans from 1978 to 1983. So it's kind of like an alternate best of, of tracks that were uh, released in different ways but never released as part of their albums. Now there's no book in this and that has always kind of bothered me, but um, it is what it is. And because of that bonus disc that's in here, it makes it so worth it. But this one here just lifts right off the top like that. It does have a cool uh, underside graphic to it, which is cool. A lot of the boxes just have black tops there. And then right on top, you can see uh, the flexible strategies one, but we've got this little tab and it just lifts this up and all of the discs themselves come out of here. So you've got all the different ones like that and each one of these here is a uh, digipack sort of a gatefold style thing unfortunately no sleeves for these they are just uh, in the cardboard case as such but uh, you do get nice packaging on those flexible strategies being the one that is of the most interest here there's the back side of that with the uh, 12 tracks and so forth on it all right next one here is kind of a cool one it is Grand Funk Railroad Trunk of Funk from 2002, made to look like a trunk on it, which is really awesome. Uh, limited edition box set that came out, 12 CD box set, which holds all of their Capitol Records albums that uh, the label put out. And so it came out, um, when you bought this, you got the first four 
albums from Capitol Records in here, which was On Time from 1969, Grand Funk from 69, uh, Closer to Home 1970, and Survival 1971. Then you filled in the rest of the albums, the next eight albums, as they were released because they were doing them in blocks of four. And um, so then you filled in this with uh, those albums. Each of these albums here are remastered. They feature bonus tracks and they each have deluxe booklets with them that have, you know, a history with it, photos, um, that sort of stuff. So while there's not a main book, each one of these discs has that in it. Plus, there's also a sticker, guitar pick, and 3D glasses in here. So this one here, just uh, like a trunk would, you open that right there, and then you lift this thing up, and you can see you've got all of the discs right in it. And these things just slide right out like that. And they're the regular discs and so forth that are in here. And that bonus stuff that I was just talking about is in a little thing that's right there. You can see the glasses. I'll take them out here in just a second. Let me put this down so I can get to it a little bit easier. So um, there is a sticker that's in here. Let me get that guitar pick. And the idea is it looks like a ticket. You could put this sticker anywhere on the outside of the trunk that would uh, make it a little more personalized to you. You have the glasses that are in here, which went along with the album shine on so if you put these on and you look at that it is a 3d album cover and it actually works that way i think the glasses came in the original edition which is why they're coming in here then you also get the guitar pick with it and as i mentioned so these um uh, booklets each have uh you know bonus stuff so you can see there's uh, written up information about each album in here with some great photos so in the end of the day, you do get a nice length of information if you've purchased all of these and you have them all in here and you can read per album that way and so forth in here, making this a pretty cool box set. Limited edition, no longer available. They've reissued it in a couple different fashions, different uh, trunk one, trunk two kind of a thing. But in this format, in this type of way, out of print now, very hard to come by. All right, and the final uh, box we are gonna take a look at here is the Depeche Mode Mode Box. This one here, very hard to come by, went out of print super quick, um, came out in 2019, extremely limited edition, 18 CD box set, includes the 14 studio albums, not gonna get into all the different ones because there's so many there, but what was cool about this one is the four discs of bonus material, 63 non-album, rarities and b-sides included on those discs and so those tracks span from the years 1981 to 2017 um, and it goes as disc 15 through 18 so disc number 15 81 to 85 has 20 songs disc 16 goes from 86 to 1990 17 songs disc 17 from 1993 to 2005 15 songs and disc 18 2006 to 2017 11 songs on it and there's also a 228 page book with gilted edges on it too in here so now another quick story before i dive into this and show it to you so i got this for 130 bucks from amazon because i pre-ordered it but it went out of print before it even came out and it already skyrocketed to three to four or five hundred dollars in that time frame currently ranging from seven to eight hundred on ebay right now Fortunately, Amazon honored the deal on it and I got it uh, for the 130 when it finally uh, got to me. It took six months for them to track down a copy, but they honored it and uh, that was pretty cool. So this just lifts right off the top. Let's see if I can, I'm gonna have to put it down, I think, to get this lid all the way off. Oh, 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 I did it, okay. So the lid comes right off like that. And then here's the inside. You can see all the discs. Everything is black on black. You can see the reflectiveness, which has the titles, book here, discs there. So the book itself, uh, and so you can see, because this was limited edition, it is numbered. This is number 4067. And, uh, you know, the gilted edges, if I can make it read through, kind of. Um, but uh, very nice book, the way that it's done. Album art, singles, lyrical, stuff like that. No real information wise, but it does provide all the stuff that's inside the albums with additional photos and that sort of stuff in here. So very cool 
to get all of that. So that way you're not missing out on it. I'm keeping all of the albums themselves, so uh, this isn't um, the only way that I'm doing it. So as I mentioned, black on black, so if you can see, uh, they do reproduce the album art uh, as a gloss on top of matte black, and then the discs themselves slide out from these things here. And so there's a whole slew of those obviously in here. And then you've got um, the four discs that have all those bonus tracks that spell out M-O-D-E, mode, which is the name of the box. And so those discs are here in this. And there you go. That is five favorite box sets, but this one focusing on album collections. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, do check the description for links to related videos. In particular, I've done full unboxing and reviews for the Def Leppard CD Collection Volume 2. Police, every move you make uh, box set, as well as this one here, the Depeche Mode mode box set. So I'm gonna leave links to those in there if you wanna see this in more detail with more explanation and so forth and so on on it. But otherwise, there you go. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Certainly uh, leave your comments, let me know your thoughts. Take care everyone and have a good day. Bye-bye.